What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the European Club Championship Player of the Weeks. So we're also going to be doing the Vinny Jr. free card as a review, the Torres pack, and of course the normal Player of the Week as well. But the big highlight of these is Juventus's young starlet, uh, Kenan Yildiz, absolute beast of a, player, of a player. And I'm glad that he's got a place here with the European Club Championship pack. So you have Kanate, and they're the two boosters. You have Michael Olise. We've had a couple of versions of him as well. All of these packs, you can only open three of these and then it's you're locked out. So you just get three chances at this, right? And we're going to start kind of from worst to la or worst to best, right? And not worst, but just kind of cover the lower rated, right? We have this guy, he's featured before, the Bast as a build-up. He's okay. He's not going to compare to the big boys, but he does have 88 uh, physical contact. And of course, his aggression is going to go to 90 as well. Every other stat is not going to be hitting the threshold that you want. And he doesn't have blocker as well, which as a build-up, I think is a necessity. So it's a bit of a disappointing card for that reason. But still, it's something new. It's something different. We also have Celtics, Hatate. This guy is pretty decent, but nowhere near the meta. He looks good in the game. He's got really nice player skills. But again, these whole players are a dime a dozen. He can play left back as a bit of a unique one as well. But it is all about this main man here, the youngster, 19 years old. He's a prolific winger, but he can play CF, SS, and AMF, which is brilliant for a card like this. And with the manager boost, you are going to be bringing up his main stats to around that 88 to 90 mark. Balance is not going to go over 85, but tight possession is. Finishing is going to be about 82, 83, depending on what manager that you have. All his dribbling stats are going to be plus 85. He's just below the kind of meta, right? Now, where he makes up for it is the fact that he's got the booster that's going to raise him up a little bit higher. And, of course, he's got really good player skills, including the advanced ball roll uh, or the advanced double touch. Flip flap, soul control, double touch off the rip. Scissors faint is always nice if you use it effectively. Long range curler, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, and true passing and one touch pass with super sub. Very solid card. And listen, it's just a fun card to use, man. That's what it's all about, right? We also have Endrick, another youngster, 18 years old. Fantastic card. He gets the last booster in the pack as a deep line forward. And of course, you're going to have everything where you need it to be, right? Finishing is going to be plus 90, which is huge. Kicking power is huge on this card. Physically, he's actually quite strong as well. And then speed and acceleration, you know what you're getting with him. This is as close as you're going to get to a free Romario if you get him in a spin. Or 100 coins or two or 300 coins. A cheap Romario. Very, very solid. If not, Letaro Martinez is a great choice from Inter Milan. Very good player skills as well, but he is missing kind of the key player skills as a deep line forward, which is a bit of a pity, but he has fighting spirit. He does he does have first time shot, but not one touch pass. It's a good card, honestly. If you have other versions of Endrick or the GP version, it's it's a little bit better than that. We also have Thielsman, or Thielsman, is that his name? Thielsman, I call him Thielsman. Um, this guy was actually a revelation for me when I got him on my player of the week. Very, very solid box to box. Has no defensive skills in the game, really. But that doesn't seem to matter with this card. He was just dominant, winning a lot of ball. His 80 aggression with the manager boost is going to be solid as well. But it's all about kind of silky box-to-box -box movement. Very good ball control, tight possession, low pass. Speed and acceleration are a bit of a letdown on this card if you do spin him. Vanderson and Jan Sommer. Again, we did get Sommer as well. We've had multiple versions of him. You know what you're getting with him. Any goalkeeper under 186, 87 centimeters needs to have high jump and high reach. So he does fall a little bit flat on that one compared to a Casillas or somebody like that. He does have low punt and long throw. It's an average goalkeeper at this stage in the game. There's so many players coming out. Vanderson is here as well. This guy is an attacking fullback. Not really to shout home about. We've had multiple versions of this guy as well. And he doesn't have that many player skills to really get excited about. It's just an average left back at this stage in the game. Konate is actually quite decent, boys. Tackling is going to be super strong. His aggression and defensive awareness. If he'd won more into that... He would have had 90 in all of those, which would have made this card quite meta because he's a destroyer. And he also has good height, good weight, good solid balance to him with that huge physical contact. Also, heading is going to be plus 90, but speed and acceleration, especially speed, is going to be a bit of an issue for this guy because he is so clunky and bulky, right? Um, blocker interception, all of that is what you want it to be there anyway. He has every single defensive skill. Not a bad option, but there's so many better destroyers out there. We also have Nuno Mendes here as an attacking fullback. Probably one of my favorite early doors uh, cards was the free Nuno Mendes back in eFootball 2024. This card is kind of getting back to that with the attack and fullback uh, prowess. But he also have aerial inter inter interception, aerial superiority, sorry, slide and tackle acrobatic clearance. Rest of his stats are quite good. Soul control with the new finesse dribbling. Finesse dribbling. I can't speak. Finesse dribbling is going to be better. Speed and acceleration coming out the wazoo. Kick and power is good dribbling, but he is let down a little bit, I think, by just his defensive capabilities, even though he's an attack and fullback. 
he doesn't really demand... I, I just think he's not as good as other left-backs. If you want an attacking full-back, there's better options than this card out there. There's a couple of weaknesses in this card. That leaves us with Michael Olise. We did have this Showtime Michael Olise, who we got. Um, and I can give you a look at this Showtime one in a second. That is the Michael Olise here as a right midfielder, right? He's very, very solid, boys. You've got 93 speed, 90 kicking power, 90 acceleration, 93 balance, 90 tight possession, and 91 finishing. It's a, it's a phenomenal card, right? The player of the week doesn't really compare to that. But in fairness, it's not really ever meant to. These cards are never really meant to be compared with the Showtime, you know? So it is a quite a solid card, right? I'm not going to lie to you. He is on A form as well. He doesn't have the booster, but it's a pretty decent card. He does have a couple of extra skills here as well. Heading, and then of course, double touch is going to be nice as well. He's a good height, good weight. He's under 70 kg, so he is quite... He's not as clunky as other cards, but he's not as silky as Neymar and the likes of them, you know? He's kind of like Gareth Bale, how he dribbles, right? It's an okay card if you've missed out on the showtime. Ball control, dribbling, and of course, acceleration and balance are going to be just around at the threshold. So it's not a bad option. And then last but not least, we do have Antoine Griezmann, who is back. Now, he does have a new hairstyle there, obviously, um, but he doesn't get a booster either. And in fairness, lads, as a whole player, you could go worse than Griezmann. It's a very solid card, very, very deft on the ball. A player that I haven't really used because the French Griezmann is phenomenal in the game. Um, the French pack one. But this is a good card as well. So overall, lads, it's actually not a bad player of the week pack. I know I've been really down on the player of the weeks. I know that's been frustrating some of you guys. But it's just because I think that there's a lot of unfulfilled potential with the player of the weeks, right? And now we're starting to see a couple of different cards. Endrick, Ildiz, the Bast. Some interesting cards in there. And of course, Kanate gets back as well for Liverpool fans. People that didn't spin Michael Olise's short-term card have a chance of getting him here. People who didn't uh, splurge out for the Anton Antoine Griezmann pack for the French pack that costs 1,500 coins get a good version of him here. So that is it. Next up, we will have the player of the week normal version here. And I will talk to you then. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Peace.